Dig it in the tapes. Looking for inspiration? Let's go back to some footage that inspired me as a young b-boy coming up. Focus, focus. Now let's drop time by b-boy focus of the flow mode crew, bboydojo.com and cypher studio home couch edition. If you're looking for inspiration, if you feel uninspired and the modern day live stream every single week is sometimes overwhelming, it's maybe sometimes good to go back to the good old VHS tape times. Today let's present a video that inspired me as a young b-boy coming up with a couple of small stories behind it. The Bendable Banana Slugs by Paul One of the Style Elements crew. I managed to buy myself an original copy back in 2001 and here's how it happened. I was visiting Paris for the first time in my life and somebody had told me that the b-boys and the b-girls they practice at the shopping center called Le Al. So I went on a quest to find Paris City Breakers, Actual Force, The Family and all the other b-boys and b-girls that I had seen on tapes around that time. With no social media and no connections at the time, I'm looking at the subway map and I found Le Al the stop. So off we go. I get off at the subway stop, look around, go to the mall, walk around, no b-boys and b-girls anywhere. I don't know what happened, why everybody was chilling and not practicing that day, but Feeling disappointed, with my head down, I walked around the shopping mall and tried to find something hip hop related at least. Then I bumped into a hip hop store. I was surprised and I walked in. I walk into the counter, I see all the clothes, all the brands of the time. I see Echo, Carl Connie, Lugs, all of that stuff. And, and I walk into the counter and I see some b-boy tapes. Boom! Not many, a couple of Battle of the Year tapes, I already had them. And then there was two that sparked my attention. Cool Joe's The Flying Water Buffalo, the solo tape by Cool Joe, who I knew of already at the time. And secondly, the other tape says Style Elements, Paul One, Bendable Banana Slugs. I copped them both. After flying home, I got to try them out, popped the Paul One tape into the VCR machine. And to my surprise, it wasn't just about Paul. It was all of his inspiration, all of the people that he saw in the Illus Cyphers that he had managed to find the footage from was there. About a half an hour tape that he had made to inspire the b-boys and b-girls all around the world of the Illus Breakers at the time. The half an hour was stacked with people that I already looked up to, so I was happy of course. You see guys like Ivan, you see Battle Squad, Actual Force, uh, you see Kenny, Quickstep, and so many others. Flowmaster, Wicked, and the list goes on. At the end of the tape, there's an iconic scene, Enter the B-Boy, where Young Remind, Crumbs, and Poe, they're all dressed up in Kung Fu outfits, and they're breaking the forest with the Kung Fu styles. You need to check it out. That scene underlines the connection between Kung Fu, old Kung Fu movies, and breaking and hip hop. How the movement in breaking is inspired in a beautiful way from movement in Kung Fu. And at the end it said, coming up soon. So we were all left uh, waiting for the full movie to come out, or the sequel or whatever, but it never did. So still waiting after 20 years. I looked back at the full video the other day, and one thing that still pops out and inspires me today is the deep originality of the late 90s and the early 2000s era. You see everybody in this tape, even though it's half an hour solos full, you can recognize everybody by their styles. The styles and the creation, originality is super deep on all of the solos, so you should check it out. Luckily, you don't have to have the original VHS and a VCR player. And as a matter of fact, I don't have the original VHS anymore either, and here's why. A couple of years after I had bought the tape, I was dead broke. <laughs> I had dropped out of university, trying to make it as a full-time b-boy. And of course, early 2000s, mid-2000s, there wasn't the amount of opportunities that there is now. I was struggling with money and I had to pay my rent. So I took my original VHS copies and I sold them to my friends. 
I took my bendable banana slugs copy and I sold it to Hat Solo and his crew at the time. <laughs> and emptying out my classes, selling stuff, I actually managed to make that month's rent. Pow! Today we're fortunate that the whole copy of the tape is on YouTube, so we can actually get back to it for a boost of inspiration, even in 2022. So search for Bendable Banana Slugs by Paul One on YouTube or hit me up on my DMs and I'll send you the link. And if you still need some extra inspiration, head out to bboydojo.com and sign up for my free footwork workshop. I see you over there, y'all. Peace!